Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well. So a little change of scenery. We are outside today. Um, this is the first like really nice day that we've had in a while. So I thought it would be nice to record outside on the porch. Um, so hopefully there won't be too many background noises. We really don't get very much traffic here. Um, but you know, every once in a while we get some like loud trucks that go by, but, um, hopefully everything <laughs> will work out. Okay. Uh, today's reading is one that was requested a while back. I don't remember who it was requested by, unfortunately. Um, I think I've actually gotten a couple requests to do this in the last month or so. Um, we're going to be asking what your person of interest wants from you. So we've got three uh, decks to choose from here. Deck number one is the Wild Unknown Tarot, and I have this cute little leaf for that deck. Deck number two is the Golden Tarot with a stick, and deck number three is the Santa Muerte Tarot, and I have a nice little rock for that group. Um, so I'll give you guys a moment to make your choices. The timestamps will be in the comment section as usual. All of my links will be in the description if you're interested in getting a private reading from me. All the details on that will be down below as well. You can order from my website or my Etsy store. Either is okay. Um, follow me on Instagram if you're interested. I post somewhat regularly there. More often than I upload here anyway. Um, I do like card pulls and fun stuff like that every other day or so. Um, so yeah, check that stuff out if you want. And I think we are going to go ahead and get started with the first group here. Okay, so deck number one. This is a Japanese maple leaf, by the way. We have one in our front yard, right in front of my office window, actually. Okay, group number one. What does your person want from you? What does group number one's person want from them? We have the Page of Cups. Hermit, Five of Wands reversed, Six of Cups, We have judgment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that upright. It came out sideways. Um, and let me get one or two more. King of Cups reversed. One more. Nine, no, five of swords reversed. Okay. On the bottom of the deck is the three of wands. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. Um, a bird just like flew over my head. It was really close. It kind of scared me. Anyway, um, all right. Bottom of the deck, Three of Wands. Um, this is a card that, generally speaking, is about potential. Um, it's about broadening your horizons. It's about embracing the unknown. Um, unlimited possibilities. Unlimited opportunities. The Three of Wands actually is one of my favorite cards um, because, to me, it's... It's, it's 
I mean, like I said, it's opportunity, it's potential, it's anything can happen, that kind of energy. Um, and I love that. I really love that concept. Anything can happen. Anything is possible. Um, you know, sometimes that can be a bad thing. Sometimes that can be scary, but a lot of times that idea is very freeing to me, um, especially if I am finding myself in a situation where I feel kind of stuck and I feel like things are just stagnating, stalling for me in my life. Um, so as far as what your person is wanting from you, um, the very first thing that I'm getting is there is a desire to end the conflict. There's a desire to end some kind of disagreement or some sort of issue that may exist between the two of you. Um, I get the impression that you and this person probably are not in contact with each other or you have limited contact at this point in time. Um, you know, the hermit is isolation, withdraw. I mean, right now, if you're watching this, around the time that this is uploaded, uh, it kind of makes sense that this card is showing up because everybody is sort of isolated at the moment. But, you know, this isn't just talking about literally being isolated, like physically. Um, it's also talking to me about the two of you being isolated from one another in, you know, the emotional sense, in the sense that you have limited communication, that kind of thing. Um, I'm just seeing withdraw. Someone has withdrawn from the other person, perhaps. Um, there's a lot of distance. There's a lot of distance, emotional distance, um, physical distance perhaps as well, but it's, uh, it's the emotional and energetic stuff that's, that's really what's standing out to me most at, at the moment. Um, we have the Five of Wands reversed. We have the Five of Swords reversed. Both of these cards are kind of similar to me. Um, the Five of Wands in the reverse position typically uh, is about like establishing and maintaining some kind of order or stability. In the upright, you know, the card is is chaos. It's, it's conflict. It's fighting, struggles, competition. Um, but in the reverse position, it's like creating some level of, of, of peace and, and establishing some degree of calm. Um, sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud. Um, establishing some, some, you know, calm, settling things down in a situation that has been kind of chaotic. Um, Five of Swords, somewhat similar. This card in the upright position is indicative of conflict as well, um, disagreements. It can also be about disappointment, um, fighting, some sort of uh, like a hollow kind of victory, like getting something that you want, but it doesn't turn out to be what you expected or what you hoped for. Um, in the reverse, it is, it's an end to conflict. It's, it's, it's like making up. It's like people, it's, it's like the step before the Six of Swords, which the Six of Swords is about reconciliation, conflict resolution. So this is kind of like, um, People making the decision to move forward from a situation, although they're not quite ready perhaps to actually um, take that action yet, like that reconciliatory, is that a word? I don't know. Um, it, it, it's like your person basically is not feeling quite up to the task of, you know, making that move right now. Like your person, I feel, wants some sort of reconciliation with you. I feel like they want to be able to make amends with you. Um, however, at this point in time, they seem to be kind of unsure of how they're going to go about doing that. It's kind of like they're still in the planning phase, perhaps. Um, they're not quite ready yet to actually take that action, to actually make that move towards you. Um, but I'm definitely seeing that they want things to get better. They want for things to improve. The judgment card is right in the center here. This is about transformation, change. 
um, awakenings, rebirth, new beginnings. Um, this is similarly indicative of a very strong desire to change things for the better within this connection. Um, so as far as what your person is wanting from you, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm seeing a desire for understanding, a desire to like make their case and, and try to try to like show you things from their perspective. It's like they, they want you to see their point of view or alternatively, um, they want to have an opportunity to see your perspective on the situation. Um, or it could be both to some extent. But yeah, a desire for change. I feel that this person we're talking about sees a lot of potential within this connection still, even though, you know, things have not been great between the two of you um, up until this point. The Page of Cups is... Um, this is offers um, expressions of love, messages of love. Uh, pages are the first of the court cards, so they tend to have this new, fresh kind of energy to them. Usually this card represents to me like a crush or a relationship, a romantic relationship that's just just starting out or you know somebody who's just beginning to develop feelings for another person. Um, in this case, this is basically showing me that this person wants to have a fresh start with you. Um, the King of Cups reversed. This is kind of similar. The King of Cups to me is unconditional love. This is emotional understanding. This is emotional maturity, intelligence. In the reverse, though, it talks to me more about feelings that are being misplaced or misdirected. Um, a lack of understanding when it comes to emotion, like, and, and, and this is kind of going back to what I was talking about in regards to, like, a desire to see things from the other person's perspective, because I mentioned a couple minutes ago, like, your person either wants you to see their point of view or they want to be able to see your point of view. It's like, they just want to be able to have a conversation, like, have a discussion about what all's gone on between the two of you and what's going to happen next. And, you know, they want to, they want to make sure that they are understood and they want to make sure that they understand you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the King of Cups being reversed here is kind of talking about that. It's, it's elaborating on that idea. It's like, I feel like this situation maybe has been kind of emotionally charged at times, like your connection. Um, they want to be able to have a conversation with you and reach an understanding with you without feelings getting out of control and, and without um, raw emotions determining where things are going to go. Like they want this to be calm. They want this to be rational. Um, pretty straightforward. We also have the Six of Cups here, which uh, the Six of Cups is associated with memories, nostalgia, the past. It can represent something from your past returning to you. Um, this card also has a very loving, gentle kind of energy to it. I feel like this person, even though things between the two of you may have been difficult, um, I feel like this person does care for you a lot, and I feel like this person misses you a lot. Um, hmm. It's like they're wanting, it's like for some of you, they're wanting to go back to the way that things were in the past between you. Like, you know, if, if the two of you ever had a point in your relationship where things were going really well and things were good and, you know, there were no problems. It's like they want to get back to that. Um, they want to go, they, they want to get back to a time that was more carefree. Does that make sense? I think I might pull maybe a couple more cards, see if there's anything else that wants to come out. Um, because group one, your person's wants, as far as they want, what they want from you is pretty to the point, I guess. What else does group one's person want from them? 
they want to be given a chance. I think they want to be given an opportunity to prove themselves. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, they want to show you that they can be reliable and that you can count on them. Um, I'm hearing, you know, I've made, I'm, I've made mistakes and I can admit that. And I want, I just want to be able to heal this relationship and heal this connection and be able to move forward. Um, I don't want us to be dwelling on the negatives. You know, I want to get back to, I want to get back to something good. And I just want to say, <laughs> they're, they're, they're telling me that I should say this. Um, for some of you, your person probably does deserve an opportunity to at least explain themselves. For others of you, and you probably know who you are, uh, your person may not deserve that chance. And it, really, whatever the case, it's up to you whether you give them that opportunity to, you know, to reach an understanding with you and, and whether you give them another chance. Um, but yeah, group one, that's what I'm getting for you guys. Um, I hope this resonated with you. I hope this was interesting, insightful, maybe. Um, thank you for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed our time outside. Um, and I hope that I see you next time. Bye. Okay, group number two, the golden tarot. So, group two, we're going to find out what your person of interest wants from you. What does group two's person want from them? We've got oh, nine of swords. Sorry about that glare. That's rough. Okay, whoa, nine of swords, five of wands, three of wands. Queen of swords, interesting. Six of wands. Eight of Swords. Hmm. The Hermit. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck for you guys is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is, um, it's about cycles. It's about endings, new beginnings. Um, the wheel relates to destiny, karma, divine timing, divine guidance, those types of concepts. Um, it's also just about movement, change. Um, okay, so group two, I gotta say, this is a pretty interesting um message that i'm getting here and it's it may not be easy to hear just gonna say that right now um okay i feel like first of all i feel like there has been there's been issues in this connection. Things have not, things have not always gone smoothly between you and the person you're asking about. Um, I'm feeling, for some of you, this could be like an ex. Um, for others of you though, this may be someone who you may have been interested in one another or you may have been interested in them and you may not have been sure if the feelings were mutual. Um, 
because I, I get a really strong feeling of like this being kind of like a situation ship. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys haven't really had the opportunity to actually be together. Um, but maybe there was a an interest or a want there to be together in a romantic relationship. Um, but for whatever reason, things haven't panned out that way. Um, for some of you, I feel like your person... Okay. Let's see. How do I want to say this? I get the sense that a lot of you who are watching have taken a lot of, made a lot of effort to try to keep this connection going, okay? Um, and the other person has not so much been making an effort. Um, I get the sense that the person you're asking about, at least at this point in time, the person you're asking about, um, would prefer to be at a distance from you. The Hermit card, this is isolation, withdraw, someone keeping to, their, keeping to themselves, someone who may prefer to be left to their own devices at the moment. Um, we also have the Eight of Swords, which is very similar. This is, again, um, a disconnect between people. This is like, it's got that energy of isolation as well, but the Eight of Swords typically is a more self-imposed kind of isolation. It's, it's, it's less like contemplative, like the Hermit card, and more restricted. Um, like three cars just went by at the same time. That never happens. Okay. Um, the Eight of Swords is more of a restrictive kind of energy. It can represent like self-limiting thoughts or beliefs, um, being really stuck in your own head, being caught up in your thoughts. Um, and the Nine of Swords is kind of similar to that as well. This is anxiety and stress and overthinking things. Um, I feel like your person, generally speaking, like I said, your person, I think, wants to be at a distance from you. Um, I get the sense that this connection, your connection to them, is kind of stressful to them. Like, it's it's something that they don't particularly want to deal with right now. Um, I feel like it is a source of maybe conflict, inner conflict for them, a source of anxiety for them, the Five of Wands, similar um, conflict, struggle, uh, fighting, disagreements, etc. I feel as though your person in, in this, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to say this in the nicest, I guess the gentlest way. Um, it feels like your person just wants to be left alone. It's like they just want for you to give them space, you know? Um, the Queen of Swords, another similar energy to what I was just talking about, um, the Hermit and the Eight of Swords, this is detachment, emotional detachment. The Queen of Swords is kind of an icy, distant sort of energy. Um, this card a lot of times represents to me like emotional unavailability. It's like this person is emotionally unavailable to you. And you may know that, you may not be clear on that. Whatever the case, I feel like this person has tried to express that to you, tried to make that clear to you that they're not available. And they've reached a point where they're just not sure what else to do about this. They're not sure, they're not sure what else they can say. They're not sure what else they can do regarding this particular connection. And I feel like for right now, they would like for you to just kind of let them go. Um, I hope you can see that. 
the six of uh, six of wands reversed. This is this is kind of talking to me about something just coming to a halt, something just coming to an abrupt kind of end. This card can represent failure, defeat. It's not quite that dramatic in this context, I feel, but you know, it's it's like your person doesn't want for you to box yourself in. Your person doesn't want for you to limit yourself, confine yourself. Um, the Three of Wands is about potential, unlimited opportunities, uh, unlimited possibilities. It's the unknown. It's about broadening your horizons. The Three of Wands really is one of my favorite cards. It came out for Group 1 as well, and I talked about this uh, for that group as well. It's It's the card of anything is possible. Anything can happen. Um, and I feel like your person wants for you to start looking towards the unknown. Does that make sense? It's like they feel that what you're looking for, they can't give you. And I, I feel that they do regret that to some extent. They do feel kind of bad about that, but they're like, I don't know what to do about it. Like, there's, for, for some reason, they just can't, they just can't offer you what you are looking for, um, and they know it. And so, you know, I, I know this message may not be what you guys were hoping to hear, um, and, and stuff like this can be difficult to hear, but I feel like a lot of you probably already know this. Um... Maybe you're just looking for confirmation, or maybe you just needed, maybe you just needed it to be said out loud, you know? Um, it's not that this person dislikes you actively or, you know, doesn't care about you necessarily. I just feel like they don't want you to be throwing your time away on them. It's like they feel like that's, they feel like they are not worth the effort that you're putting in. They feel that you're not going to get back anything. They, they feel like you're investing things into this connection and you're not going to get a payoff. You're not, you're not going to get anything back from that investment because they just cannot they're just in a position where they cannot or will not. I feel for a lot of you, they would if they could, but they just, they can't give back to you at this point in time. And that could be for a number of reasons. You know, this is just general. Um, for some of you, this person may just be going through a lot of stuff. They might be, you know, in a depression, struggling with like mental health stuff or, you know, family related issues. For some of you, your person could already be in a relationship of some kind or, you know, something of that nature. Um, but yeah, they just, they, they know, like, they, they know that you deserve more than what they're able to give you right now. And they want for you to, to go out and get what you deserve. Um, and unfortunately they just, they just feel that they can't be what you want or need them to be. Um, so group two, that is the message that I'm getting for you guys. Like I said, um, I know maybe it wasn't what you were hoping to hear, but this is just general, so, you know, take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, if something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. You know, it's it's not a super big deal. Um, so if you don't like it, you can just move on. Um, anyway, I, I hope that this was helpful or interesting to you and I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our time outside today, and I hope that I see you next time, guys. Bye. Okay, and lastly, group three. 
Group three, the Santa Muerte Tarot. Let's find out what your person of interest wants from you. Whoa. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Oh my gosh. Two of Cups. Wow. Oh, this is a good one, guys. This is a good one. I'm glad. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Interesting. Five of Swords. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles, and let me get one more. Mm, that's a few too many. Can I just get one, please? person want from them keep getting like bunches of cards coming out together and I just want one okay three of wands wow on the bottom of the deck we have death it is Hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have death. Death is generally change, transformation. It's endings, but also new beginnings. Um, death also can, in some cases, represent like birth, like rebirth, or sometimes even literal birth, like the birth of a child. Um, group three, your reading here, I have to say, whoever it is you're thinking about, I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. I feel like this person cares about you very much. Um, we have the Two of Cups here. Two of Cups is union, partnerships, unconditional love. Um, this is this is a really strong bond between two people. This is marriage. This is uh, long-term commitment. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, similar. This is associated with stability, commitment. It's also about family and happy home life and that kind of thing. Uh, I feel like your person would like to have the house and the kids and the yard and the pets and all of that stuff with you eventually. Um, it seems like this person maybe is a little bit traditional in that sense. Um, I just, <laughs> I, I'm just seeing a lot of love here. I'm feeling a lot of love here. Uh, this is good. This is, <laughs> this is the best, the, the best out of the three um, that we've done today by far your person is so your person seems so invested in this connection okay um we have the eight of pentacles here as well this is about hard work it's about putting forth the effort uh to achieve some kind of goal to to reach a certain end um this is the blood sweat and tears card it's you know it's being willing to work hard improve yourself um and get what you want I feel like this person is willing to invest in this relationship. They're willing to do whatever it takes to make things work, to make things happy and stable. Um, I feel like this person wants to be able to provide for you even to some extent. Maybe not financially necessarily, although Pentacles is related very much to money and career, but they want to be able to just give to you. Like... They want to be able to make you happy. They want to be able to make you feel safe and content and secure. Um, 
the Page of Swords, uh, this card actually, let me get a couple clarifying cards. Um, because the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords especially are throwing me a little bit. Um, so give me a second here. We got the Three of Cups coming out as well. And the Fool. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. The Three of Cups and the Page of Swords is kind of interesting because <laughs> it's, um, somewhat related to what I was talking about. Your, your person wants to know pretty much everything that there is to know about you. They want information from you <laughs> about yourself. They want to know, they want to know everything about your past, your present, and your future. What do you want for yourself? What are your dreams? What are your goals in life? Where have you been? What have you been through in your life? They want to, to understand everything about you. They want to know everything about you. Every inch of your mind, body, and soul. <laughs> um, and they want to know, they, they want to, they want to know about what's important to you. They want to learn about things that are important to you. Like, for example, if you have close friends that, that mean a lot to you, they want to get to know those close friends. Um, if you have something that you're really passionate about, they want to learn about that thing. They want to do that thing with you, whatever it might be. Um, you know, hobbies or just like a certain subject that you care a lot about. Um, and they, they want you to trust them. They want you to trust them and they want for you to look into the unknown, look into the future with them. Okay. Um, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm going to interpret this a bit more intuitively than I might typically. Um, just because I feel like that's, I feel like that's what I need to do here. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune reversed generally is a lack of movement. It is like stalling, you know, no change happening. In this context, this is just saying to me, your person wants to stick by you. Your person wants for you to stick with them. Um, I get a lot of devotion and commitment from this person. And I think for most of you, this person is expressing that to you in some way. Um, you know, I, I, I don't really get the impression that this is all stuff that they're keeping to themselves right now. It, it's possible, but... I think for most of you, you, you already kind of know this stuff or you have an idea. Um, like, like this stuff shouldn't really be coming as a big surprise. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but, but this person wants to stick to you and they want you to stick to them and they want devotion. They want commitment. They want, they want to be a team. They want you guys to work together and be a team. And like I was saying a few minutes ago, they want for you to look into the future, into the unknown with them and be brave and take a risk, take a chance on them. They believe in you. They believe in the two of you together. Um, the Three of Wands came out here. The Three of Wands has come out for every group today. And I've said this in both of the previous readings, but the Three of Wands is my, probably one of my favorite cards because it's about potential and the unknown. It is like anything is possible, anything can happen. And that idea, anything can happen, can be scary because, you know, there's always the possibility that things can get worse, that things can go bad. But there's also the possibility that things can get so much better, you know? And I think that's just a really beautiful thing. Um, especially, you know, if, if you ever are finding yourself in a position where you feel like you're stagnating, where you feel like things are just not going your way, things will change. Things can get better. And eventually they will. Um, everything is temporary. Everything, everything is temporary. 
And I think it's really important that we remember that. That's something that I remind myself of a lot, especially when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling just kind of stuck in my circumstances. Um, but your person, back to the subject at hand, your person is so optimistic about your future together and they want for you to be optimistic about it as well. Um, they want for you to trust them, you know, hold their hand and take that leap of faith into the unknown with them. And like I said, I feel a lot of family energy, like this person wants to have a family, this person wants to live together, um, all of that stuff. This person wants to make a life with you. They want for you to be their life. Because you are so important to them. You're so important to them. And they just, some of you I feel maybe are a little bit afraid of the unknown, afraid of what the future might hold. Some of you might, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh my God, I'm blanking. Um, some of you just might be kind of nervous about what's to come but they don't want you to be nervous. They want you to trust that everything is going to be okay and work out the way that it's supposed to. Okay. So group three, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, that's what your person wants from you. This person loves you a lot and they want all the best and they want to experience all the best with you. So group three, that's what I have for you guys. I hope this resonated with you and I hope it was interesting. Um, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our time outside. Um, if it's, you know, if the weather stays nice, I might do a few more readings outside like this because this is pretty nice. This is relaxing. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, all my links are down below in the description and probably in the pinned comment as well. I offer private readings if you're interested. Follow me on Instagram, all that fun stuff. Um, thank you for joining me again. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye.